This is like my home in Saharan, but the fiends here are only monsters. You called. Speak then. Ours wear the faces of men. No. Even the most cunning emissaries of the Archdemon cannot pass for men. Darkspawn, abominations, plagues, and storms. Men are far more dangerous than these. One moment of betrayal can bring more ruin than an earthquake. You know this. They are Talvashoth. They say they are Grey Ones. True in the knowledge of themselves. They are gaping holes where men used to be. Nothing can fill them. There was a village in the mountains of Seheron. Farmers. They grew cinnamon and nutmeg trees in perfectly ordered rows. There would always be one person waiting. A foreman, a harvester, rank didn't matter. Often they would say nothing. Simply watch as we worked to examine the empty house, a new one each time, that had once been the home of a colleague, a friend. We always made a point of searching. Now and then a body would turn up in a river eaten by rain and crows. More often we found nothing. Even in the worst parts of the jungle the villagers would send someone with us to see the tiniest piece of bone or cloth. Anything contained the possibility of their lost friend. Must we speak of this? We could be fighting something. Very well. Isn't it the nature of a wound to bleed? I have no more answers than you. Why do we fight the Darkspawn? Why do the Darkspawn fight us? You are. Why do you fight? Yes. There is no other reason. The Talvashoth wish us dead, and we wish to go on living. The point of our war is war. Very well. Undoubtedly, they've used it to kill countless people. No, but they don't care what I think. There are times when words fail. As you wish.